Cigar Time began as a radio show and has been developed into a unique weekly television program. Cigar Time's half-hour show runs every Tuesday night at 7.30 and appeals to cigar smokers throughout the Delaware Valley's extended Philadelphia television market. Cigar Time is broadcast on WMCN-TV that reaches more than 2.7 million homes in the Philadelphia ADI. Cigar Time is carried on Verizon Fios, Comcast Xfinity Cable, DirecTV, and Dish Networks, along with conventional over-the-air HDTV broadcasting on UHF Channel 44. Cigar Time has a 0.4 share, and the number of viewers increases weekly as each unique show is produced and aired. This highly objective and very informative TV program features five panelists who eat, breathe, and love cigars. We offer an opportunity for your company to sponsor your choice of full shows, segments, 30 or 60 second ads, and you can also choose to be included in our discussions, have your cigar smoked, rated, and reviewed. We'll also invite you or your company's representatives to join our panel and be part of the show. Your product can be embedded throughout our program. Special offers and promotions can be announced and featured. This is a mass approach opportunity for your products to be showcased and presented to this highly sought after niche market. You can take advantage of this target market that really reaches those with an interest in your cigars by contacting Arthur Tull at Cigar Cigars, 215-328-0500. Welcome back to Cigar Time, your friendly Tuesday night show all about cigars. And we have an esteemed panel here today. On my right, we have Rob. Hello, everybody. And to his right, we have Paul. Hello. And to his right, we have Scott. Hello. And to his right, we have the lovely Miss Tia. Hi. And uh, <laughs> Miss Caroline is here joining us today, and she's going to be presenting us with our first cigar. Nice. All right. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I like her outfit. You like her outfit? I do. Thank you. They should make them like that for men. Am I getting through? Right? I, I was kind of so. looking at. I was kind of looking at the cigars. They should. Well, I really think it's well, near that she matches the cigar. Oh. Our first cigar is the Flor de las Antillas, which is named after the Antillas Islands. The wrapper, the binder, and the filler are all Nicaraguan, which makes it, guys, yeah. Nicaraguan yeah. puro and Honduran. Can't forget Honduran. The sizes are robusto, toro, and titan. And the taste profile, and the taste profile is a dominated roasted coffee, mm. some cocoa and dark chocolate, and it's medium body. So, what's the first topic? Well, I think before we go to the first topic, I just want to remind everybody to take off the footband. Really? Yeah, good idea. Oh, you have to remind people of that? Footband. It will change the taste of the cigar. You sure? Probably should not be smoked. <laughs> Our first topic today is going to be, what does body strength and flavor mean? body really refers to is, I guess, the smoke and how it actually fills and hits all the different parts of your mouth. Um, whereas strength is how, obviously, how strong the cigar is, or what we refer to as a fuller cigar. And then flavor really means what it tastes. But I think a lot of people get mixed up between strength and body. Carlito Fuente announced to the world at large that as far as he was concerned, nicotine equals flavor. And the more nicotine there is, the more flavor you're going to get. They, they use different parts of the tobacco plant, um, the, the Seco, the Volato, and the Lajaro, and you'll feel those uh, in different parts of your mouth. I notice oftentimes when I smoke a Don Pepin cigar, uh, any of the brand, doesn't matter, but his, his, his cigars t tend to have a very identifying quality to them. When you first light them up, there's a, a rush of spice. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. very much. And then about a quarter in or so, they tend to mellow out. Mm -hmm. That's right. that's very much his style as a blender. He mm. looks for ways yeah. to kick you up at the beginning and then settle down. Is that as much as that it's blended like blended. that? Or he blends blend? it on it, purpose yeah. that way. In fact, uh, about two years ago, Don Pepin um, first started using Ecuadorian tobacco. Mm -hmm. And specifically what he was looking for was Ecuadorian Sumatra, which can be very spicy. Uh, we have an event with a number of our stores with Alec Bradley, and we'll have lots of specials. Um, you'll get, get to meet the uh, the rep from Alec Bradley. I think they have a lot of great cigars. Yeah, they do. I really like the a lot of swag. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm really a lot happy. of swag. Oh, I like that swag. And a lot of good yeah. deals. Yeah. Alec Bradley, we are going to bring some really good deals. And their boxes are cool. look awesome. Well, we're going to bring him in from the field today, and we're going to put him in the factory where he's going to talk about a bunch of stuff. 
literally. A bunch. I oh, like that. Yeah. 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 We're going to nice. talk about bunching. The most common way right now is what's called machine bunching. It's not a machine-made cigar, it's machine bunching, but that is not the kind of machine that you might think. In Honduras, for example, the buncher is not the same person as the roller. They work in teams. Right. Right. So the two of them will sit at a table together and one of them is constantly bunching and putting the, the bunches into the, into the binder and then into the molds, and we'll talk about molds next week. Who is your favorite actor who smokes cigars? Uh, uh, my yeah. favorite actor is Charlie Sheen, I love him. Um, I didn't really know that he smoked cigars until I watched Two and a Half Men, which was one of my favorite shows. I like Al Pacino in uh, Scarface. Yeah. He's so smoking sexy. a cigar. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He always had a cigar in his mouth. Oh, yeah. I'll go, that way anyway. I'll, go with Andy, I'll go with Andy Garcia just because I yeah. love the, the, the movie The Lost City. Lost City, Of course, yeah. there's a cigar named after Great it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's a fantastic Great cigar. 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 Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds just like him. He does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. sure. Say, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite cigar smoking actor is Kathy Bates. Well, I think it's time to uh, review our cigar. Wow. I love the way Just, you pronounce it. Do so you really? Oh, the I love Flor the Flor de las Antillas. It gets a lot milder. Um, not too much, but just enough. That white pepper taste kind of goes away a little bit. And, like a sweet flavor comes in. There's a reason this was the number one cigar of the year. It, it, if, you're, if you're into the ratings, it got a 96. It is a fantastic cigar. I, I love everything made by Dom Pepin. Well, I have to completely agree with you. Uh, I think this is the best cigar that Pepin puts out. Ooh. And the reason that I like it so much is it's not quite as powerful or heavy as most of his other stuff, but it's way, way more complex and engaging. It, it, it's constantly changing the mm -hmm. whole time you smoke it. Yeah. Rob? Yeah, I, I agree. I, uh, I think this is the best cigar Don Pepin makes. Um, you do get that big blast of power in the beginning which I normally don't like, but then the way it smooths out and becomes real complex, uh, it's just fantastic and it really gets to my uh, flavor profile. As a new feature... What about you? None of it. Well, I just said it's a very tasty cigar. <laughs> How much more I can add? That's the review? It's, it's wow. complex, it's spicy, it's a little creamy, has a sweet finish, anything else? Yeah. So a nice. new segment of our show today, we're going to introduce our mystery smoker. Well, this is definitely a medium to medium full cigar. It has a very, very sweet finish, and it's creamy, and surprisingly, with all that, it still continues to provide that nice peppery flavor that Don Pepin is known for. It's a wonderful cigar. 4.50. Wow. wow. Boy, she's a wow. tough grader, too. Didn't I tell you I was going to be going to be shot? It's because of the band. I think so. Yeah, the band. The band's a maker band. Scott? Um, <laughs> I have to go 4.75. I can't go quite the 5 because it is not the best cigar that Pepin makes. I also go 4.75 just because almost nothing is ever perfect. Touche. But this is damn close. Yeah. Or darn close, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I disagree with Scott. Uh, I think uh, this is the best cigar Pepin wow. makes. Uh, I give it a 4.75 also, though. I'm not a huge Pepin guy. I like some of their cigars. This is obviously one of my favorite Pepin cigars. And uh, I would go with a 4.75 and not be embarrassed by it. I see this is a solid 4.5. Give it a 4.50. Wow. <laughs> Numerical <laughs> scoring. Remember, it is 0 to 5. And it comes out at a 4.69. <laughs> smoke often and smoke happy, guys. Ciao for now. And thank you very much for your patronage. And we hope to see you in the humidor. Bye-bye and see you next week. <laughs>